What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Ginger Man Cards. Hope you're all super well. It is Marvelous Monday and it's that time of the week already. It is time for Ginger Man's pop, top 10 Marvel Card sales from the previous week. And uh, again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, thank you for subscribing. This episode in particular is around me picking 10 sales, eBay listings, sold and completed, uh, where I'm seeing trends, high prices, uh, cards of note that I think are just super cool. Uh, but yeah, completely subjective. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on this week in the Marvel card world. Let's do it. Let's get into it. So, it's been a hell of a week in Marvel Card Land again. And I don't know when I haven't not said that, to be honest. But um, PMG's still popping, still flying. And I know this is the only PMG in the episode, so please don't uh, turn over or <laughs> stop watching this because there's some beautiful cards coming up, I promise you. So this is a PMG that sold on the 10th of October, and it's a 2017 uh, Carnage. It's a red, which is numbered out of 99 from the 2017 Fleet Ultra set. Interestingly, it's graded at an SGC 9.5, which is a hell of a good grade uh, from the guys I've been talking to. Grading with SGC is uh, no mean feat to get 9.5s or 10s. So to get a uh, PMG in a 9.5 is pretty cool. So... This went for two thousand one hundred dollars, forty-four bids, the most awful picture I've ever seen. Like, if you wanted to sell something that's a high value, take a decent picture, man. Ah, oh, I'm sorry if uh, who's who's the seller, Sinatra the Sands. I'm sorry if you're listening. I very much doubt you are, but there you go. Your pictures there are better. Yeah, that's much crisper. Anyway, nevertheless. Um, Interesting to see SGC slabs getting some uh, attention and fetching these, you know, decent prices that uh, that are definitely matching some PSA prices. Only certain cards, certain characters. Don't get me wrong. Not across the board. Definitely not at the moment. So far, I'm not you know crapping on any grading companies whatsoever. <clears throat> but super interesting to see. So nine point five. Uh, SGC, $2,100. Awesome. Uh, in at number nine, something very different that uh, definitely caught my eye and I had to do some research on this set, uh, the, these stickers even. And you're probably thinking, well, this isn't a card, but, you know, it's still important. <laughs> um, and I really do think stickers will have a moment, whether that's in a few years or much later down the line. But this is a great example. This is a 1983 Oval Teen Marvel superhero sticker. You can see there. Pretty cool. Storm, again. It's not a Mohawk Storm, so not my cup of tea, but uh, still pretty cool card. You can see on the back as well. That's what it looks like. Crazy. But yeah, someone paid $550 for this. Best offer accepted. Um... And it, it, I don't know, it gets me thinking, what what else in terms of sticker market? Uh, and you can say sticker market, it's card stickers, that, you know, it's all it's all the same thing, in my opinion. Um, what else will pop? I don't know. But to get a 10 in this must be pretty tricky. These are old, old, old. Um, I don't imagine they'll be well stored. Um, you know, something that small. Interesting, I was looking on Com C. Um, you can get a Thor overtone sticker for about $15 which I think is a great buy <laughs> um, but as always please do your own research this is me being purely speculative uh, I'm not a financial advisor all that crap that's important um, but yeah awesome so someone's just got these graded old 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 1983 I don't know a huge amount about the the set and again from Ovaltine, so I'm imagining they're coming out of uh, a food box. Ovaltine's like a, is it tea, coffee, Choc is it chocolate? Is it chocolate? I don't know. 
but it's something like that. Either the way, $550 for that. That's superb. Interesting to see as well. Um, okay, so in at number eight, and you're probably thinking, oh my God, Nick, why? <laughs> or Ginger Man, whatever you want to call me. But this is a Captain America card number one of the 1990 Marvel Universe set, series one, PSA 10. And this Captain America sold for $485. So the price of that has come down considerably, considerably, considerably um, from where it was. So to give you some context, uh, where the PSA pop report is for these cards currently, is at 10,592 cards for the whole set. Some of those are my cards, which I should be getting back within a couple of weeks, I hope. All being well, we'll see. Um, and if, of the tens of this card in particular, this Captain America card number one, there were 119 tens, and there are 89. No, there are 89 tens and 119 nines. So, still a very low number when you consider uh, sports card world, Pokemon cards, etc. But just uh, something to note. And the other thing. I can't remember I was talking about it in the, one of the Facebook groups was there's the big Kingpin card. I say big because Kingpin's big, right? <laughs> um, it sold for about $600, and um, which is more than this card right here. So and that's why I brought this up, is that Kingpin card had a significantly lower pop in terms of PSA population. I think it was less than, I want to say less than 15. Don't quote me on that, but... A hell of a lot less than this card in particular. So I do think, and it's interesting to see how what's happening with this set even now, still fetching prices like that, like incredible. I do think it's gonna continue. Um, that's all I'll say. But yeah, super interesting. Some of the lesser known, not lesser known, but lesser known characters that have a lower pop are getting some love, as seen. In a couple of items sold recently. So, yeah, quick update on the 90 MU there. Uh, in at number eight. No, seven. This is interesting. This is a Marvel Black Diamond card. Um, <laughs> I say Triskelion <laughs> tier two. Uh, and it is a Paul Bettany. Vision autographed, which is uh, pretty cool. So Pat pulled autographed um, from the actor Paul Bettany, who played Vision, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, but why bring this card up? So again, it fetched four hundred sixteen dollars. You know, not a bad amount considering. <laughs> um, Black Diamond cards still having a run. Plenty, plenty, plenty out there selling every single day. Um, and, you know, <laughs> rightly so. There's some big collectors going off this stuff and a lot of people know who these characters are and who's who the actors are. So, you know, you think about the MCU, um, the movies have uh, definitely got a, a, a part to play in these, for sure, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, super interesting. Black Diamond's still, still popping, still selling well. Um, in at number six, this is interesting. So I've definitely seen a lot of these, and I'm going to butcher, I can't say it properly, but Metallurgy. <laughs> and um, these are one of the chase cards. So to give you some context, there are 90 of these cards in the uh, Metallurgy from the 2020 Masterpieces uh, set. And they are numbered to 25. And you can see they look like a printing plate. Effect. Well, probably, you could call it a printing plate. I don't know. It's metal. <laughs> and you can see the, which I hate personally. I just think this is disgusting. Someone's used their uh, Sharpie to uh, put the numbering on the card. I don't know. I don't like that personally. But you can see they're 6 to 25. And then on the back... Um, you can see this is a scar, so son of Hulk, by the way, should have mentioned that, which is an interesting, interesting uh, character. 
Yeah. Um, you can see on the back there, Dave Palumbo signature, but not the actual signature, if you get what I mean. And that's it. So yeah, these cards have seen a hell of a lot of sell. That's a lesser known character, let's be honest. I know it's Hulk. Uh, Hulk's son, sorry. But interesting to see, for sure. So yeah, Marvel Masterpieces having a, a great time still as well. Um, in at number five. It comes from the Marvel uh, X-Men Metal Universe. Still selling well as, as well. As well as well. And this is a geode. A super short print. Um, Magneto, which is a wicked card. Uh, they've even put the pack ratio here, which is one in every 1,440 pack. So incredible, incredibly uh, scarce, I guess. Um, and you can see on the back, it's pretty cool. It's really, really wicked cool, uh, cool cards, these geodes. I know there's a lot of uh, guys in the community that uh, have a chunk of these, which, you know, absolutely respect. They're nice cards. They look wicked. Um, so this sold for $750. Uh, best offer accepted. Uh, Marvel Beckett Registry, again, killing it in terms of what they're listing, in terms of BGS cards, some of their raw cards as well. There's some real nice scarce cards. Um, if you haven't had a look yet, have a look at what the chap or the guy or the girl has in the in their shop. Pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, good prices on the geodes. Uh, purely peri peri periodic as well is again some collectors. We talked about this in Marvel's Pack Fresh um, yesterday. I can't remember what we're talking about, but yeah, definitely. Some big dogs wanting the, this set, and in particular the geodes, and purely periodics for sure. Um, so yeah, super interesting. So in at number four, and I thought this was another interesting sale. 2016 Marvel Gems Sapphire Parallel, which is a numbered out of 25. Um, and this is the Alpha card, so it's serial numbered one. And I don't get why people don't do this. And again, if you're the seller, I'm sorry. But let's see a picture of the back so I can see the uh, serial number, please. <laughs> I'm not asking a lot. I just want to see what the back looks like as well. That's important. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, Spider-Gwen, you know, massive character. You think about the future of uh, Marvel in general. Um, yeah, big legs, as I like to say. But this of $177. The gem set is a real gem <laughs> as it says uh, ladies only set really really nice not seen any graded yet which i find interesting uh, in terms of selling there probably are some graded out there but in terms of um gems grade uh, graded selling haven't seen any but yeah very nice good price considering 177 dollars and uh yeah interesting to see in at number three and uh you probably won't expect the next three listings from me, but after, um, crazy, crazy. I have cross-referenced and tried to check if this is a genuine sale for the next three listings that I'm going to go through, but it appears so. And again, we talked about on Marvel's Pack Fresh yesterday about Premier cards, um, in particular, you know, the first, the first set and the last set, but the, I think it was 2012 that has uh, one of the one of the inserts or chase cards. I can't remember. I'm so sorry, but has some uh, artwork from uh, Nar and AR. As you can say, you can see here, and I've bought this up before. But some of this stuff from Nar is is <laughs> is fetching crazy money. So. Super interesting to see. I mean, this is a sick card. I mean, come on. Like, the elements to this card is just insane. By the way, this is a sketch card. So, just to put that out there. I mean, whoa, wow. Look at that. Nah. You can see that. Nah. With the double exclamation mark there. And then below as well. Rock on. <laughs> That's wicked. Um, so, yeah. From the 2014 Marvel Masterpieces set. Oh, just incredible. But this is this is some big dog sketch sketch card collectors, for sure. Uh, the card collector he sold a number of uh, I don't know him personally. I'm sure some of you do. 
sold a number of uh, nice stuff recently for big money. But yeah, super interesting to see. And um, I'll go back to what Sketchcard High was saying. Hope you don't mind if you're listening, Sketch. Like around, sketch cards are gonna are gonna get. What's the word I want to use? They're gonna dry up. Like stuff like this. It's not going to be surfacing anytime soon again, you know? So, super interesting. But again, if you're looking to get into sketch cards, you do need to do some serious research and use the Marvel's Pack Fresh, Fresh, Marvel's Pack Fresh crew, uh, Spidey Jew, Sketch Card Hive in particular, Elusive knows this stuff as well. Um, and me, even if you need to get in contact, just give me a shout on Instagram or on here, wherever you're listening or watching. But yeah, just just be very careful in at number two <laughs> and we're talking about premiere this is a premiere sketch of thanos which i think was sick i, I just think it looks cool and uh i'm a fan of this this border in particular um i don't know it adds a nice element to the card in terms of uh i always use, use the rule of thirds in my photography <laughs> My photography terms but yeah really nice sketch card it's from the 2019 premiere set and it's thanos by chris meeks again i don't know a huge amount about chris meeks but i know some of his stuff is well renowned well sought after um if you know more please do let me know down below but you can see on the back uh signature by chris meeks and you can see hand-drawn sketch card um but yeah I, I i'm just appreciating the artwork and some of these big cards here because i don't necessarily do that enough in uh, some of my videos so interesting to see in at number one which i thought was i don't know and again i'm appreciating all the artwork here on these sketch cards um and i start to understand why these fetch such high price um i mean look wow <laughs> And if you're listening on the podcast, uh, these are incredible looking cards. And they're from <clears throat> a few different artists from Meeks, Kwang, Agar, Tan, Basio, or Basio, sorry, uh, from the 2016 and 2018 Marvel Masterpieces. So again, same seller, big dog cards. And this did sell for 12 grand, $12,000. Um, yeah, super interesting. So you can see on the back there. All the signatures, Chris Meeks there. Really, really cool. That Venom's sick. I love that Venom. Ooh. Let's go back to the Venom because I think that's so cool. Look at that. Um, so yeah, super interesting to see some big money being spent on certain sketch cards. So if you're new to the channel, don't go thinking, oh yeah, this one on one sketch card's gonna, you know, I'm gonna buy that and then flip it in however long. No, 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 no. This is not how that works. There's plenty of information out there now that you can go and research in terms of YouTube channels, Instagram, and the guys I've just mentioned. So, um, yeah, super interesting. Another stellar week in the Marvel card world. Having a blast doing this still. Hope you're enjoying it too. And, uh, yeah, please do keep connecting with me, messaging me. Uh, it's great fun to chat to you, uh, chat to you all and um, see what you're up to, see what you're buying giving advice, love all that stuff. It's what it's about being in the community. Um, one thing I should mention is um, Watch Me Open. Um, he is doing, really cool guy, he's got his own YouTube channel, etc. He's doing a charity um, kind of sell-off um, on his eBay store. Uh, so if you don't follow him, have a look. And um, he's put a load of sweet cards uh, on the store and uh, I think there's like six days left seven days left now and you can pick them up and donate um, and it will go the money will go to directly to a charity which there'll be more information on that obviously on watch me's page etc so yeah go to that good cause great for the community and get involved but yeah hope you enjoyed see you in the next one